Hey, what's happening? Tim with Nomad Trading. CMEG stop loss. A question I get quite a bit is how to set a stop loss on CMEG's platform. I use Sterling Trader um, rather than DOS, so we're going to use Sterling Trader Pro, and I'm going to show you how to set a CMEG stop loss. Uh, quick guide, super fast. Hopefully you all made a bunch of money today and you're joining me here sitting in the green. If not, there's always a uh, Monday. Great to see you. Thanks for stopping by. Hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already. Um, comment down below. Tell me what you like. Tell me what you don't like. Hopefully you don't dislike my sweet chief's hat as they emerged victorious last night in the first game. Pretty excited about that. Pretty awesome big Chiefs fan because I'm from the Midwest. Uh, anyway, without further ado, going to jump over there and well, I, actually I'll just drag my CMEG account over here and we will start talking about how to set a stop loss order with CMEG Sterling Trader. Here we are safe and sound, ladies and gentlemen, in my computer. Going to talk about CMEG stop loss here, show you how to set one. Um, you're going to go, I'm going to keep it as quick and simple as I can. Uh, you go right here um, to where it says day. If you have it as day, that's where you would place your trades in and out uh, intraday. This is good till canceled, GTC. So uh, if you place a trade, that's going to be good till canceled. Then here you have S stop. So this is what you need. If you're going to place a stop loss, you would select s stop um, if you put in a number right here it's just going to stop you out at a market order at that price so right now the my stop would be set at 856 if i if i was holding the stock i would uh, click the sell button and it would stop me out at that price at a market order if you want to place a stop limit order then you would put your stop price here and then your limit price, which would need to be below this price because um, you're placing a limit order, stop limit order. Then you would put the, the limit over here. So I might put something like 8.5, 850 if I was going to have my stop at 856. And I'm just throwing random numbers out there. So don't pay any attention to the charts because um, I'm just, uh, just showing you examples of the stop. So it would stop me out. It would trigger the stop here at 856, and the limit would be at 850. Uh, this is a server side stop. So what that means is it's not going to send the the uh, the the trade is not going to be sent to the exchange right away. It's going to be kept on CMEG servers um, until that price is reached. So it's kind of a bit of a hidden stop. A little bit of a benefit. The exchange can't see your stop if you're if you happen to be using a large size, um, then they would not see your stop. It would be on the server until the time that the stop is reached, and then again here is your limit price. Um, if you want to place a trailing stop, which means as the stock were to go up, if you're on the long side or down, uh, I, I should also mention by the way. Um, that when you're placing your stop, uh, if you're shorting the stock, then it just works the same way. If you're short, then you would just place your stop where you want it above where the market is currently trading and it would stop you out. So in that respect, it's pretty simple. Um, and then, uh, like I said, trailing stop would mean if you bought the stock, then you would put in here what you wanted the trailing to be. So let's say I bought the stock at 856 and I never wanted to lose more than 10 cents. I only wanted to risk 10 cents per share. So I would place trailing stop. Uh, then I would put in 0.10 and then I would click sell. And then uh, it would follow the price up. And as soon as the price dropped 10 cents, it would trigger my stop. If it never did drop 10 cents and it kept going up forever, then I would just keep making more and more and more money until eventually it did stop uh, and, and drop 10 cents and trigger my stop. So there you have it. On Sterling Trader Pro uh, CMEG platform, that is how you place stops. Very simple.
you just have your your server side stop and your trailing stop and then you have your market order and then your limit if you were to put another number over here very simple uh, easy to do if you have any questions put it in the comments if you like this video make sure you give me the thumbs up and help the YouTube algorithm Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. I appreciate the support. We're over 1,000 subscribers now. Pretty awesome. Nomad Nation is growing. Thank you guys so much for the support. I appreciate it. Uh, that's all I got. Hope that helps. God bless.